The city of Billings has selected its first ever artist in residence, and you may recognize some of her work around town, like this mural on the way to the airport on the campus of MSUB. It's designed to bring awareness to an important topic, but it's also brightening up a dark space, turning this tunnel into a safer space, and that's the idea citywide. The MSUB mural is one that I got with the Big Sky Economic Development, and we put up one all about the uh, missing and murdered indigenous people, and each one of those shards represents somebody who's been lost in that tragedy. We selected local artist Terry Porta, She's done a lot of uh, public art around Billings and we were very impressed with her public art. I'm super excited for the position. We want to go out to the neighborhood. We want to talk to people from our cultural centers around town and we want to talk to donors. Cherry's position <laughs> is funded for one year by a $50,000 National Endowment for the Arts grant awarded to the city of Billings in partnership with the Billings Arts Association and the Healthy by Design Coalition plus matching dollars. We're also looking for donors. This is going to be a really high visibility project and it also helps bring national attention to Billings because those National Endowment for the Arts grants are just so coveted. Terry's mural at the City Hall parking garage is also highly visible, featuring the historic flood of 1937. My name is Eileen Morris, and I lived through this experience right here. She was only five years old, and her mom got her up, and the water was coming in the store, and they were trying to get the sandbags and get all the stuff out of the way, and so they plop her on a barrel and she goes to sleep. It took four months working eight to five to complete and thousands of community conversations. That's exactly what the city wants as Terry collaborates on at least two placemaking projects over the next year. I realized I had almost 3,000 interactions. Sidewalk poetry could be an idea. Healthy by Design has done a lot of work and they did some sidewalk poetry on the south side where they stamp sidewalks with poems created by residents. It's using art to help beautify the community community to help increase safety, to help increase ownership over the community. If you hear that I'm coming to your community group or some somewhere in your task force, please come out and, and talk to me. I'd love to see and talk to all of you. The year is 1914. In Billings, Diane Parker, MTN News.